Let's be real for a second, Bali is known as a true traveler's paradise and we all know Bali can be very crowded at some places. For me, I lived for nine months at this beautiful island and I know my way around. I discovered some truly authentic and beautiful places and I want nothing more than to introduce you guys also to these places so you can discover these places without the big tourism crowd. video I am going to share my 13 best things to do in Bali Indonesia I completely fell in love with this beautiful island and the local people and I hope I can make you guys fall in love with the island as well that is why I'm sharing my 13 best tips and now let's get started number one is called Bayan ancient tree also called Kayu Puti ancient tree this is a giant tree located in Tabanan that towers over everything else surrounding it according to locals it is over 700 years old and 50 meters high. This tree is located in a very small village which is called Bayan. That's why the tree is also called Bayan Ancient Tree. And if you are a photography enthusiast, make sure to go there because as you can see right here, the pictures that you can make there are just stunning because the tree is so huge and so old. It is an amazing opportunity. Number two is to go camping on Bukit Trunyan and visiting the village Trunyan as well. This is something very unique because camping is something not many people do in Bali to start with. It can be a little bit cold, so make sure to bring some warm clothes. But camping is definitely for the adventure seekers and for the thrill seekers as well. It is probably a little bit out of your comfort zone, but it will be 100% worth it. Bukit Trunyan is close to Trunyan village. This village is a remote mountain village on the east lakeside of Mount Batur which means if you are camping on Bukit Chunyan you will have this amazing view at Mount Batur so if you open up your tent early in the morning and you sit with your bonfire you have the best view you can ever imagine but the Chunyan village is known for its Balinese community known as the Bali Aga they have unique burial rituals because people who are passed away are not cremated or buried they are laid out on the ground within the village literal boneyard so this is definitely something that you wouldn't expect when you visit Bali but not many people know of this and it's definitely a very special place and not many tourists will be there so you will have it probably just hold for yourself and it is definitely a super unique experience. Next up in line are the Sesandan rice fields. I am a big rice field lover and there are lots of them in Bali. There are some big ones which everyone knows such as probably the Jatului rice fields or the Tagalalang rice fields which are also amazing if you want to have a rice field probably just to yourself you should definitely go to the Sesandan rice fields because they are simply gorgeous not many people know of this place and you can take amazing drone footage when you are there and they are located in the middle part of Bali it is about an hour drive from Chenggu then number four is Lampuyang Temple. This temple is located in the eastern part of the island and it is probably one of the oldest and most sacred temples on the entire island. The good thing about this temple is that it located super high. So you will have an amazing view at Mount Agung when you are standing in between the gates. As you can see this picture right here. For me, it was really cloudy, but normally where the clouds are, you can see Mount Agung. And then my tip is also go there at 7 a.m. with the sunrise so you will have no lines there will probably be no tourists at all and you will have a very clear view at Mount Agung which sadly I didn't have but you will get the idea then the entrance fee for this temple is donation based I would recommend to give between 20 and 30 K Indonesian rupiah you will also have to pay a parking fee which is between 5k and 10k and then you also need to rent a sarong, which is probably 10K in the Nisha Rupia, because you must always wear a sarong when entering a temple. So if you don't bring one, you can rent it there. Then my number five tip for you to visit when you are in Bali is Ubud. 
Ubud is located in the middle part of Bali and for me I call it the green heart of Bali because Ubud is surrounded by rainforest, rice paddies, Hindu temples. There is a really serene atmosphere and if you want to relax and come closer to yourself, come closer to nature, then definitely Ubud is the place to be. Ubud is also known as a center for traditional crafts and dance. So there are lots of art markets and there will be lots of handmade products which you can buy and I absolutely love it because this way you can and also support the local people. And I almost forgot, Ubud is home to the Tagalalang rice terraces, which you probably have heard of. This is one of the best things to do in Bali, but I'm not sure there will probably be lots of tourists. So if you want to have this place a little bit more to yourself, you should come here early in the morning. Next up in line is Uluwatu, which is definitely one of my favorites. This is such a laid back town in the southern part of Bali. If you like surfing, if you like laid back vibes, then you should definitely visit Uluwatu. This is also home to one of the most beautiful beaches of entire Bali. Uluwatu area is known for its blue waves, impressive sea cliffs, white sand beaches, fancy club, and definitely top quality surfing. There is something for everyone right here. It is nice to connect with people when you are in Uluwatu. Number seven, the Changu cafes. I don't even know how to start this, but if you are a foodie, if you like any type of food, you should visit all the cafes in Changu because whether you're vegan, vegetarian, if you like meat, there is something for everyone. Each cafe will outdo the other cafe because it is simply, the interior is so beautiful. All the dishes are Instagram worthy because there are lots of influencers in Changu. You should definitely add this to your list. Number eight is Nusa Penida. Nusa Penida is Bali's neighboring island. It is a little bit smaller than Bali, but it is definitely worth visiting. I think from Bali, it's a half hour boat ride to Nusa Penida. And Nusa Penida is home to beautiful rock formations, clear blue waters, a huge array of marine life, like dolphins, manta rays. You can see everything right there. There are lots of chill vibes all around the island. And it is also home to the most famous beach of probably whole Indonesia, which is Kalinke beach you can also hike up because clinking viewpoint is the thing that you will always see in pictures if you hike down you can actually reach clinking beach itself but be prepared because it is a very steep hike and Lisa Penida is a very hot island I always sweat a lot when I'm there but definitely add this one to your list and don't forget to visit the local people here because sometimes they can struggle a lot because most of the tourists only go to tourist stops and they don't go to the more remote places on the island which can also be very beautiful and local people love it if you will visit them. Then we have next up in line Tirta Ganga Water Palace. This is located in the eastern part of Bali and Tirta Ganga is a former royal palace in eastern Bali. It is about five kilometers from Karangasam near Abang. It is named after the sacred river Ganges in Hinduism. The entrance to enter this temple is 30,000 Indonesian rupiah and then you will also probably want to buy some fish food which is 5k Indonesian rupiah. Parking is free but the fish food is because there are so many fishes in this water and I'm not talking about small fishes I'm talking about huge gold fishes you probably have seen some of the pictures on Instagram but this place is amazing to take some beautiful pictures of you surrounded by fishes but therefore you will probably need some fish food so I think I bought three or four bags each bag will be around 5k then number nine is Mount Batur. Mount Batur is located in the Bangli region of the island of Bali and you can do night hike to the top of the volcano and then you can have the most amazing sunrise. This is an active volcano which makes the experience even more cooler and it is super adventurous to hike up in the middle of the night. You will need definitely a good guide which I have a contact number from. I will put it in the description down below and this you definitely don't want to visit. You need to put your alarm very early or late whatever you want to call it it will be around 3 p.m but i'll promise you it's worth it because the hike will be a little bit tough but when you are on the top of the mountain and you see the most amazing sunrise of your life you will thank me later then my absolute personal favorite, number 10, is Lahangan Suite. Lahangan Suite is located close to Ahmed Beach in the eastern part of Bali. And Lahangan Suite is one of the Bali's newest attractions, boasting an epic viewpoint that treats you to the best far-reaching views of Mount Agum. Be prepared because the short road towards there can be very muddy. I got stuck in the mud actually, and with a bike, it can be a little bit tricky. I would definitely recommend you to come here very early in the morning, just 
during sunrise if you want to have beautiful light or during sunset because then you will have the sunset in your pictures but during one of these times you should visit this place because during the day there will probably be too harsh of a lightning and probably too many people number 11 is Pura Batu Kursi I never heard of it before I haven't seen any person online share this place of Bali because it is simply not known with tourists at all and a lot of local people actually don't know about this place that's why I'm gonna tell you about it because it is stunning Pura Batu Kursi is located in the Bulalang Regency it is in the western part of Bali and this hill is considered a sacred area where there is a small temple above on the hill just like the hill the temple is also also called Pura Bukit Batu Kursi and local people believe that this temple is a place to request guidance about careers so early in the morning there will be a lot of local people hiking up to this temple and it is just a stunning scene to watch Next up in line is waterfall chasing. Bali is home to one of the most beautiful waterfalls I've ever seen in my life and there are so many gorgeous waterfalls to explore that I made a separate video about this which you can check out right here. I put here my nine best waterfalls in entire Bali so if you are interested in this definitely check it out. And then we have number 13 which is actually quite of a cheat because these are the Gili Islands and the Gili Islands are part of Lombok not of Bali but it is about an hour boat drive from Bali and I just needed to include them to the Bali itinerary because these islands are stunning. The Gili Islands are located an hour and a half by boat from Bali and are the perfect place to get away from the busy streets of Bali. The islands have no cars so you can explore by bike and by foot. There are also horses with carriages carriages but I wouldn't recommend taking these because the horses are a lot of the time in bad shape so please follow my advice and just do it either by foot or by bike and then the biggest daily decisions on the islands are probably where to go watch sunset and whether to drink a coconut or buy a watermelon which are very luxurious decisions and the Gili Islands are home to crystal clear waters which make it the perfect place to go off land and explore the water the diving is amazing there are so many beautiful fishes there are sea turtles reef shark i had the most amazing experience swimming with these sea turtles it was so cool if you are not a certified diver you don't have to worry at all i am not either i did everything just by free diving and snorkeling so you don't have to worry because snorkeling is fine as well you don't have to go very deep even on the surface you can see sea turtles i had one time the experience where i walked into the water and i saw three sea turtles surrounding me so definitely check out this place if you are are an ocean lover. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I loved explaining these 13 best things to do in and around Bali to you and I hope I can make you fall in love with this gorgeous island just like I did. If you have any more questions please put them down in the comments below. Please do not forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next one.